Today you join us with Mercedes-Benz at an undisclosed location somewhere in Midrand and they have graciously given us the opportunity to have a pre-look at the CLE and the E-Class. These models are available from now but uh, we'll only be testing them closer towards May when they're officially launched into the country. So as someone that's under 30 years old for now, I'm obviously naturally more gravitated to this sleek looking two-door coupe. This is in the spec CLE 300 4Matic, which means it's got the four-wheel drive system, and it is brimmed with state-of-the-art technology, and it still retains that austere Mercedes-Benz styling. So what that translates into with that 48 volt hybrid technology is 190 kilowatts and 400 newton meters. But inside is obviously where some of the cooler features of this car exist. Jump into the cabin and you'll find all of the hallmarks that make Mercedes vehicles so luxury. But because this is a blend of the E-Class and C-Class coupes from before, there is a bit more of a sporty touch to them. You're also greeted with Mercedes-Benz's latest MBUX, which includes an 11.3 inch driver's display and a huge 12.3 inch infotainment display here, which has some cool functionality like this. Hey Mercedes, open the window. Now, if this is slightly too sporty for you and you want something slightly more family oriented with four doors, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class is where it's at. Let's go take a look. Now, the E-Class has long been synonymous with a luxurious four-door sedan, and that is easily prevalent in any review we have ever done on the car. In the January 1994 issue of Car Magazine, one big thing did change, however, and that is the nomenclature. Instead, of using the traditional naming system, Mercedes have fixed a number after the letter of all of their models. And that number signified the displacement of the motor under the bonnet. So in the scenario of an E200, you'd have a two liter. In the scenario of the E320 automatic that we had tested in that issue, it was a 3.2 liter. Things have changed from then, that was almost 30 years ago, and that nomenclature doesn't necessarily signify the same thing anymore. So in the scenario of both of these cars, the E300 and the E200, both of them employ a two liter motor. In the scenario of this one, it's 150 kilowatts and 320 newton meters, which comparatively to the three E320 from back in the day with the 3.2 liter motor, figures are comparable. We haven't driven it yet, so we can't make any claims or comments on its performance, but it is carrying a little bit more weight from all of the technology that it's carrying. Exterior styling has evolved significantly. At the front, you are greeted with Mercedes-Benz's hundreds of tri-pointed stars and a grille that integrates seamlessly into the headlights. This is worth noting that it is the AMG line pack, uh, which comes as an optional extra on here, unlike the CLE, which uses it as standard. If you're moving to the back, the silhouette remains classic Mercedes-Benz E-Class, and the rear retains some of those hallmarks that we found in the front in the form of tri-pointed star tail light details, which make it quite memorable at night. There is also a chrome strip that runs the length of them, which obviously alludes to it being slightly more upmarket in business class. Speaking of which, the party trick for that is actually on the inside. It is the 21st century and 2024 to be exact, and that's why this E-Class sedan is outfitted with a selfie camera, which is very convenient if you're a businessman or woman on the move and need to host people in Zoom meetings through the app system over here. Now, obviously, if you're not hosting meetings and have passengers in the background, they can obviously play with this while you're driving. Um, and this is all facilitated on the central display over here, which is flanked by two 11.3 inch clusters. This is the super screen, not the hyper screen that you get on the EQE, which means the driver's display over here is a separate pane of glass and the passenger pane over there is integrated into the central display. Now, another cool feature on the interior of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class sedan is its 4D sound experience, which combines the Burmester sound systems with some technology within these seats. Now, these are perforated, heated and vented, and they do include speakers as well. So when you're playing music, you have that experience of reverberations through your body. Might not be to everyone's taste, but uh, if you're not a businessman and you do like a bit of a party, this might be a cool little party trick. Over and above that, if you've got music playing, you have pulsing interior ambient lighting, which will play to the beat of the music. Now, in terms of the Mercedes E-Class lineup, this is the E200, as I've mentioned with the AMG pack. Buyers can also opt for the E220D, which comes with the diesel powertrain, but over and above those, the E53 has been confirmed as the flagship for the lineup, and that'll be arriving in 2025. 
For the most part though, the interior of both the CLE and the E-Class looks the part, and it certainly has all the hallmarks that have made Mercedes-Benz so luxurious in the past. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know between the two of these which one you'd rather have. I know as someone under 30, which one I'll take.